फाइव सेकेंड टू सेकेंड रेडी मिस्टर डिप्टी चेयरमैन सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द मोशन विच हैज बीन मूव्ड बाई माई फ्रेंड एज ही हैज पॉइंटेड आउट आयल इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन द इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एनी कंट्री टूडे एंड स्पेशली दो कंट्रीज विच आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट है फाउंड दैट इफ दे वर टू बेस दियर इंडस्ट्रीज Securely on oil, the whole development is fairly quick, and that it is possible for them to get good returns in a short time. So, while fully agreeing and even emphasizing the need for the nationalization of oil industries. in all its aspects in india i am afraid that because of the past mistakes of the government of india even if we were to pass this resolution today it will not be effective in one of the most crucial sectors of the oil industry namely the oil refineries when agreements were entered into by the government of india with the oil refineries many of us pointed out that these were inequitations agreements and they will work against the interest of this country at that time our voice was not heeded and it was said from the side of the government that they had done all that they could to protect the interest of the country and that the agreements marked a further stage of development in our economy history has shown that the critics of the government were right and the spokesmen of the government were in the wrong we know that the present minister in charge of oil is very anxious to see that the oil industry develops as far as possible in the public sector and he is doing all he can to say that the industry is so developed he is also trying to see that the profits that are being earned by the distributing companies as well as by the refining companies are brought to some reasonable level this house knows how difficult this task has become and how endless negotiations have gone on for years before any concrete results could be had at first we had only half decisions today i do not know if any firm decisions have been taken decisions not only on the part of the government but decisions which have been accepted by these companies and whether the government even today is at all in a position to enforce these decisions on these companies then sir there is the question of distribution we have got the indian oil corporation 
विच इज नाउ अंडरस्टैंडिंग मोर एंड मोर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम ईस्ट यूरोपियन कंट्रीज एंड फ्रॉम सोवियत रसिया I do not wish to go into the question of prices of these oil products. It is fairly well known that the prices at which Russia and the East European countries sell their petroleum products abroad vary to a very great extent, but what the region for the variation is i have got no data to find out but that need not worry us after all we want oil products and if we get them at cheap rates for whatever regions for whatever considerations we should not mind welcoming the opportunity that has come to us as a result of that i am quite sure that my country is capable of looking after its own interests in spite of any considerations or any motivations that might be guiding these countries to sell their products to our country at cheap rates in case these motivations and considerations are not in the interest of our country we have no data to find out whether these considerations and motivations are against the interest of the country or not but as long as we are getting <coughs> these products at cheap rates without any stinking attached i see no reason why we should not welcome that opportunity and the government has done well in seeing that these products are distributed through the public sector distributing companies but here again have we succeeded in mastering the problem of distribution we are still groping we read all sorts of reports in the press to the effect that heroic efforts are being made by the indian oil corporation to distribute the products that are coming from abroad i live in mumbai and i hear rumor rumors that when these products are received from abroad the india oil corporation has many times been found to be unprepared for receiving these products and they have often to be stored in the storage capacity of the very foreign companies against which we are raising our voice today here again is a sorry state of affairs once we accept this challenge of distributing the products through our own public sector companies we should be in a position as early as possible to stand on our own legs and not depend on the mercy mercy of these foreign companies the same is the story as regards petroleum products also it is a well known fact that shortly 
we will do better regarding raising of crude oil